My next guest is a singer-songwriter who's worked with some of the biggest names in music. Narina Palo has established herself as a platinum-selling singer-songwriter with both Brit and Ivor Novello Award nominations. The singer, who grew up in Jersey, has also collaborated with Kylie Minogue, writing and producing songs with her husband for Kylie's last album. With three critically acclaimed albums and a top 20 hit already under her belt, success looks set to continue with the release of her new single and album. Well, Noreen and Paolo joins me now. It's just amazing to see all of that. And you're about to release your fourth album? Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. What's it called? It's called Year of the Wolf, and um, it's named after my son, Wolfie. Yeah. How old is Wolfie? He's, uh, he's nine months, and I made... Oh, so it is his first year, then? It is, absolutely. Oh, gorgeous. And I was pregnant while I was writing it and recording it, so it feels, like, really tied up with that. Yeah. And we saw there that you've uh, worked with Kylie mm -hmm. quite a bit. Yes. Yeah. I've worked with her with my husband, Andy, and we wrote the title track for her last record, Aphrodite, and her last single, Better Than Today. And it was a dream come true for me, because I grew up as a kid just idolising her. Yeah, so. I know. And she's still the pop princess, isn't she, all yeah. these years later. What was it like working with her then? She's just lovely. They yeah. say you shouldn't meet your idols, but... If Kylie's your idol, meet her, because she's wonderful. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. No, then. she's wonderful. No. And we've got, obviously, we've got Britain's Got Talent on at the moment uh, in this country, and X Factor is coming up later in mm -hmm. the year. You've worked with a couple of the X Factor finalists, I haven't have, you? I have, yeah. In what way? Um, I worked with Diana Vickers on her first album. Yeah. I wrote and produced a song for her. Um, oh, did you? On her, yeah, yeah, on her, her number one album, actually. Oh, and um, Joe McKeldry covered one of my songs for his album as well. Yeah. I've worked with both of them. And what do you think of the shows like X Factor? I think they're an amazing vehicle for people who wouldn't necessarily have an inroad into the industry in London. Yeah. I think we're very sort of centred on London in the media and we forget that, that England and, you know, the whole yes. of the British Isles Bristol. is a massive place. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So if you're someone growing up in the wilds, how are you going to get to London? I think it's a great way of going around the country and finding all our talent. I do think the aftercare of artists is a little shoddy sometimes, but, you know, there's so little music on telly and it's prime-time telly yeah. with music on it, yeah. which for me as a musician is really important. It's lovely to see. Yeah. OK. And uh, I've got to ask you, because we were talking about weddings, there's this woman who's getting married for the ninth time. <laughs> Just <laughs> tell crazy. us a story <laughs> about meeting your husband and marrying, please. I met my husband and half an hour later he proposed and I said yes and we Within got married. Within 30 minutes of meeting you, he yeah. proposed. I'm not surprised because you are so stunningly oh, beautiful. <laughs> thank you. But we had, to be fair, we had been to primary school together as babies but hadn't met for 30 odd years. But we, So we had this back history of growing up in a tiny place like oh, Jersey. I'm going to cry. <laughs> and you've been married for how long? Four and a half years. Oh. But I kissed a lot of frogs. So I've just got to say, <laughs> be patient. Both. If there's any out there oh. waiting to meet the one. Marina, that was wonderful. I'm <laughs> going to hear you in a minute. Yes, as well, I'm going to sing for you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for thank having you so me on. Thank you. On. And we've got an arena video exclusive for you on our website. That's itv.com.